I'm a big fan of Norman Rockwell. So Crazy Bus was something that I created. I you know, always thought to myself, let me create something that kind of feels Norman Rockwell of today. I remember when I went to school and how crazy the bus was. No seat belts. People jumping up and down, throwing stuff. The bus driver like, shut up! You know, people, it was, it was out of control. So the idea was to get all these kids in a bus and just let them go nuts. We started off having a woman driver. Cause that was who was casted. And her hair was so freaking huge and out of control that you couldn't see anybody in the back of the bus. It was like a fro. I kind of felt bad. I was like, yeah, she's not the right one. So then I saw this other dude that was just hanging out at the shoot. I'm like, hey man, you want to be in a shot? And he was like, huh? <laughs> I told the lady to kind of go sit back. And I got this guy who was just had that be at the shop and to be at the shoot. I think he was with one of the kids. So he actually sat in, he was bald, and he just had this look about him that just was perfect. So we brought him in. I basically had the camera mounted on a tripod, locked, so it never moved. So when I did the plates for all the children and him and anything else I wanted to add, pixel for pixel, things would line up. So I had a medium strut box that was above the camera that covered enough of the front of the interior of the bus and him for Phil that I felt like it gave it just enough that it looked like natural light coming through the windshield. And we angled it you know, horizontally, so feathered it a little bit so it wasn't so direct. On the right of the driver, just a little bit, you know, right of the camera, just to the edge of the driver, we had a seven inch grid reflector and with cinefoil attached so it kind of snooted it out a little bit so it just hit the driver. Just enough on his face to give it shape. And that really works. A lot of times using the cinefoil just helps break it down. Sometimes you can't get grids to do exactly what you want them to do, so you have to improvise, and that's what we did in this case. And we shot that over and over, a bunch of different poses, just to get the look that I felt like I was looking for. And once I, I got that, I let him go. And then we had an empty bus with no driver in it that I could then start staging my crazy kids. So from that point on, I worked back. Now, how we lit the kids, originally I was thinking I was gonna kind of light them from the inside and just you know move the stands back as I went. And then I'm like, you know, perfect scenario. There's windows down either side of the bus. So we had two, I think it was 12 by silks set up on frames. So we had four, two on one side, two on the other. And then we had magnums, and the magnums would be up on stands that would kind of shine through the silks. So one in the front, one in the back, no grids, all spread out, white reflectors. And then one center, I think it was a seven inch reflector in the middle of those. So we did that on both sides. I wanted the right side of the bus to feel a little brighter than the left because that's where the sun was coming from. So we dialed up our packs on the right, dialed them down a little bit on the left, but created an even nice little transition that felt real. But the way I shot it was cool because I focused for row one through three and I had kids just going crazy doing their thing and once I felt like I got them I brought the second wave of kids and we did four through six seven through ten and etc until we got filled up the whole bus so each row I shot was in focus and then I sandwiched it all together in post-production and made it look what it is. I went to my daughter who's in the shot she's actually the one on the left hand side with the blue dress and her face it was cracking me up because she was like Daddy, Daddy, what do I do? What do I do? And I was like, just keep doing what you're doing, babe. And I'm just shooting photos because she looks so, she just looked real, you know? One girl thought she was talking to her mom out the window and it looked like she was gonna puke. She was on the right hand side. And I'm like, that's great, just keep doing what you're doing. And then when we got to the post-production phase, I mean, I changed colors of shirts. I took teeth out of kids to make them look like they're toothless. I added the bruise on the kid on the right hand side just to make him look like a little, little rascal. There was a logo on different shirts. We stripped a lot of things out, but you know, once my eyes started seeing things and seeing the picture develop, I was really super happy with the way it came out. And the lighting was so key in making that look right. 